ITN News at 10 with Julia Somerville. Chancellor finally agrees a deal for Euro referendum. Complete deadlock tonight over ban on British beef. Caught on camera a new scandal for the law in LA. And at last a pill for men, but will they take it? Good evening. The Cabinet are expected to agree a compromise tomorrow on the vexed question of whether the public should be given a say on European Monetary Union and a single currency. There will be a firm promise of a referendum in the Conservative election manifesto, but it won't be official government policy before then. The pro-European Chancellor, Kenneth Clark, who is rumoured to have threatened to resign if a referendum was promised now, is said to be happy that his reservations have been met. Here's our political editor, Michael Brunson. Ahead of Prime Minister's questions and just behind Defence Minister James Arbuthnot, Kenneth Clark and Michael Heseltine could be seen in animated conversation. Mr Heseltine said to have played a crucial role in having worked out a deal that Mr Clark is now happy with. Even at this stage, before news of the deal emerged, Tony Blair suggested Mr Clark had been forced to change his mind. Oh, has he? Uh, I mean, Madam, no, Madam Speaker, a nod of... A nod of yeah, no, 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 no. Madam Speaker, a nod of the head or a shake will do. Paralysis. We have paralysis. Even the big man of the cabinet can't get his way now. Mr Major gave nothing away as he waived a document in which he said 50 Labour MPs were defying Mr Blair over Europe. And the right honourable gentleman tries to dance in the midst of all these divisions whilst pretending there are none. The reality is his party is as split as can be on this issue. For Mr Clark, committing ministers to a manifesto decision for the next parliament rather than to a declared item of official government policy now seems to have been the key which secured his support for the deal. The Prime Minister has in any case said that whether or not to join a single currency will not be a matter for this Parliament. Not surprisingly, the opposition parties are talking of a typical fudge. A referendum in itself would be a good idea to secure our future in Europe. I think the problem is this referendum is all about trying to stitch up the deep divisions in the Tory party. This is a confused shambles where once again, out of the weakness of the Prime Minister, decisions are being made not in the interest of the country, but simply to hold together a divided Conservative Party. The Tory Eurosceptic John Redwood saw the threat from Sir James Goldsmith's referendum party as behind tonight's move. Well, I'd imagine that was part of the calculation of the Cabinet uh, in the run-up to this decision. Uh, why not? Uh, I think it's very important that Conservatives speak at that general election for all those who don't want more power to transfer to the European community. But it's all left some other Tories thinking back to the referendums of Harold Wilson's Labour government. Uh, they were used by uh, Wilson uh, in order to paper over the cracks in his party. Uh, and I think a decision to have a referendum now uh, would be bound to be interpreted as being for exactly the same reason papering over the cracks at, at divisions of, about Europe in the Conservative Party. But in many ways this is a typical negotiated John Major deal, which also enshrines the idea of a collective cabinet responsibility when, finally, the decision on the single currency is reached. Michael Brunson, News at 10, Westminster. 30 Labour backbenchers tonight rebelled against...